This is Trump supporter Kelly whatever talking about ethics, journalistic integrity as far as people being innocent until proven guilty. Here's her opinions. Well, I find it interesting because the women who signed this letter are journalists and one of the highest journalist ethics, one of the highest principles of our criminal justice system is innocent until proven guilty. That is afforded to the worst of terrorists, the worst of criminals, the worst of rapists. But it appears if you work for the Trump campaign, it's the opposite. It's a presumption of guilt. It's guilty until proven innocent. Apparently she has a problem with being thought to be guilty until proven innocent. Him as a picture shows that she did. So I tell you that story not to say that it's the correct one necessarily. I tell you that story to show that there are two accounts of what happens. And it is unfair both from a journalistic standard to presume that Mr. Lewandowski is guilty. And it's unfair from a criminal justice standard. And I'm quite frankly ashamed that, that women would, would, who are journalists would go out and presume this man guilty in the court of public opinion. So again, Kelly's saying that as journalists and as women, nobody should be saying anybody is guilty until proven innocent. They should be thought of innocent until proven guilty. However, you just said a man who's, who's guilty of assault. Tara, do you know that, that, that you are defaming someone? You could actually be brought into court for oh, alleging that I you did something that he did not do. So Tara, no, you're not Tara, but I would watch your words because that's a, a violation of the highest principle of journalist, journalism. Are you kidding me? It's got, you a violation right of now, our criminal family? justice system to presume really? someone guilty on TV when there are two varying accounts, Tara. Oh, well, okay. you should be careful. So again, you shouldn't be accusing anybody of being guilty on TV. <laughs> you know, it's really a violation of the highest journalistic standards if you consider someone guilty until proven innocent. You know, Kelly's a real stickler. You know, she has very high morals and, you know, she's a very ethical person. Unless you're talking about Hillary Clinton. to demonize these women who are innocent women. Juanita Broderick said she came up and grabbed her hand and it sent cold chills down her spine. So much so Kaylee. that she thought it was a well, threat, the words that Hillary Clinton So when you're, when you're saying Hillary Clinton was demonizing these people, what what actual evidence are you pointing to? You're I'm pointing to the, the incident I just mentioned where Juanita Broderick, who accuses Bill Clinton of rape, violent rape, so much so that she had marks on her upper lip. Right. That Hillary but that, Clinton that was never up. proven, correct? It, it, she came out many years later. That's, by the way, a psychological thing that many sexual assault victims go through. I'm just asking for the record. I'm not attacking her. I'm criticizing her. I sure. just want to set the record straight. That was never proven. Ken Starr, that was not, I mean, to my knowledge, was that... It's an accusation. It's, it's an accusation. Okay, it's an accusation. Yes. So her accusation that Hillary Clinton came up to her is just that, an accusation as well. It's right? an accusation that's, nice. that's very much in line with many other accusations. Paula Jones, you have to ask yourself, why did... Bill Clinton settled that case. That's another woman who has a very detailed account. You got account. a counselor. Uh, you have to, to, you have to be careful with this slander, counselor. It's Let, not let's, slander. Let's, let's move. Uh, <laughs> needless to say, um, Kelly, listen. <laughs> you rail and rail and rail. Talking about journalistic integrity. Talking about a violation of ethics. So it's okay to slander someone, just use accusations against someone when it's somebody you don't like. But if it's somebody whose side you're on, then nobody should be accusing anybody on TV of being guilty until proven innocent. Kelly, you just got exposed. Seriously, you just embarrassed yourself.